is on a problem like this, um, rather than having to rewrite all of them, what I would do, ladies and gentlemen, is let's plot these points. And then let's determine what our transformation vector is telling us to do. Our transformation vector is telling us to shift our image five units. Since it's negative, we're going to do five units to the left. And then it's telling us to shift two units down. So since the negative two is negative, that's going to tell us to shift it down. Seth? That's Thank you. Um, so let's go on and plot these points. So we have negative four, negative two. We have negative 1, negative 1. So that's f. That's g. We have 0, negative 4. That's h. And we have j, which is negative 3, negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. All right. Now, all I simply need to do, if I take all these points and I just follow my transformations, shift every point 5 units to the left and 2 units down. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, all I'm going to do is just take every point and shift it five units to the left and then two units down and then relabel it. So, if I look at f, f right now is at negative four. So, therefore, I'm going to shift it five units to the left. Negative four, five, six, seven, eight, four, one, two, three, four, five, and then two units down. 1, 2. So now that's f prime. g, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. Do you guys see how I just moved g 5 units to the left, 2 units down? And you can just do that now with every point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1, 2. I guess f would look more like that. Um, h. Move that five units to the left. So one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. That's now H prime. And then J is one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Okay? And I know it's a little bit off, but all I did, ladies and gentlemen, was take my points. Slide them five units left and two units down, and that's what's up on my transformation. Okay, Camilla?